was named Bashan, so I just woke up and uh, yeah, we gotta move and start today's day with just, you know, vlogging about something, about video, and about a little bit of, you know, me. Lakas maka English, akala mo talaga Americano, pero hindi, I'll be back. So sa kasalukuyan, um, pauwi na kami, but yeah, today, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung paboritong lens na ginagamit pagdating sa B-roll at sa photography. Ito, yung Camlan F1.1. So, yeah, mabilis na lang to. Pakita ko muna sa inyo yung mga, yung sequence ko gamit to. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so sa kasalukuyan, this is the bearded me. Days after that shoot, I just wanna make a point out na kung bakit ang Kamlan F1.1 or ang Kamlan 50mm F1.1 ay isang sulit na lens para sa M50. Okay, number one is dahil bukod sa kanyang price point na 8,000, siya ang cheapest lens na babibili mo na merong ganong kababa na f-stop. Bukod sa merong 7 Artisans, F1.2, 35mm ata. As far as I know, meron ding 1.7. Pero yung 1.1 na, na f-stop ng Kamlan 50mm is somewhat a lifesaver. Lalo na sa mga APS-C camera katulad nito. Fact number 2, wait lang. mag na naman tayo. Balik ako kayo. Wait lang. Next transition please. Okay, so kung napansin nyo, hindi na ako gumamit ng LUTs. It breaks my heart na hindi ako gumamit na ng LUTs sa part na to kasi on the go na tayo pagdating sa editing. At sa ngayon, nandito kami sa bahay ng tito ko. Vlogger din siya actually. Itinig ko yung channel niya sa baba. Semi-vlogger, kumbaga. At syempre, dun tayo sa fact number 2 pagdating sa Kamlan 50mm f1.1. Wait lang. Um, yeah. Okay, so fact number 2, bakit para sa akin napaka-effective ng Kamlan F1.1 na 50mm sa EOS M50 ay eh dahil nakokontra niya yung quality na meron sa 720p ng 120 frames per second. And by that, I mean this. <laughs> Okay, so now we've seen some B-roll and I just want to say fact number two, you know, if correct me if I'm wrong, but there's something about this lens that makes your 720p footage sharp AF. And by the way, shout out to the Crowley crew. I promised a shout out from, yeah, I commented from his, you know, one of his videos. I hope he's watching this right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, if you use the Kamlan F1.150 mil, it saves out your slow-mo from that 720p quality. It makes it even more ultimately sharp. I don't know why. Even at F1.1, this lens is sharp, like really sharp. By the way, binili ko tong lente na to sa Manila Vintage Primes sa may tondo. I hope they also watch this video. Dahil nag-promise ako nagagawa ako ng review. Pero hindi ko pa kasi gaano maintindihan yung science behind this. But all I know is that there are 12 blades inside. Tsaka since manual lens siya, malang auto focus. It's, it's not a big deal actually. But you can see those, those blades. This is the f-stop. The widest is the f1.1. And the smallest is the f16 which is great for 
landscapes, I guess, but I don't really use it for landscapes. It's, it's specifically for portrait photography. Um, everybody knows that. If you don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's your choice. It depends on how you use a lens, actually. But once again, fact number two, it saves out that quality from the 720p that the EOS M50 actually delivers. Let's proceed with the main fact why I bought this lens. I think you already know why. Let's find the perfect spot for it. So. You know, meron tayong studio look. Okay, so so yung last sequence na nakita nyo, it's actually fact number three. The reason why I bought the lens dahil sa low light capability. As you all know, or sa mga previous, siguro um, sabi na natin mga veterano na, na gumagamit ng Canon, kapag lumalagpas na ang ISO ng 800 patas, Sobrang grainy na ng footage mo nun. But from ISO 800 pa baba, your quality is safe. Walang grain, hindi kailangan mag-denoise. Quick tip para sa mga baguhan sa M50. Kung ayaw ng grainy na footage at wala kayong denoiser, iwasan nyo na umabot ang ISO nyo pataas ng 800. Yung ISO, may kita nyo yun. Kasi dito, or I think dito, basta dito yung shutter speed, aperture, ISO. May kita nyo yun sa screen na M15 nyo ISO is dito nyo ma-adjust yung from 100 to 1600, 3, 2, 6, 4, 10, 8, something like that. But going back, once again, the reason why I bought this lens is that as a videographer, kailangan ko ng solution sa low light problems ko. So yeah, that's one thing. Actually, nakita nyo kanina, nasubuan ko siyang gamitin sa actual live basketball game. Yun yung game ng Tito ko. Naginanap dun sa subdivision na yun. So technically, yung isa lang sa naging con para sa akin is yung autofocus. Siyempre, pag mga mabilisang ganong galaw, hindi mo magagamit yung lens ng mabilisang autofocus. Unless na lang siguro ko super sanay ka. At yun, kailangan mo matutong bumuelo ng focusing. Since ang M50 naman, meron siyang focus speaking. So, it's not really that a problem. Low light problem, solved. Kung hindi mo pa nadi-discover itong lens na to, go check it out. And you're gonna see great reviews about it. Especially sa price point, it's not gonna be a bother. Um, dahil yun nga, kung kukuha ka ng 50M f1.8, it mura siya, oo. Um, basic siya, oo. Pero, para sa akin na, for photography, panalong panalo yung kamlan. Especially dahil nga, super sharp. Um, videography, also super sharp. Nakita niya naman sa montage kanina, yung mga random stuff na pinakita ko. They're really sharp. Nasagip yung 720p na meron sa M50. But, um, yeah, if you're planning to buy it, I do recommend this lens. So, yeah, I guess that's the first episode. And, of course, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell para lagi kang notified. But, I guess I'll see you in episode 2, which is tomorrow. And comment down if you loved the setup that I actually did for this daily vlogging thing. So, if you have questions, feel free to comment down below. Yeah, I hope I covered everything. Thumbnail. <laughs>